Hey everyone, it's me and today I'm going to show you guys my new updated foundation routine that has seriously been working wonders for me. Now I don't want to go out and say this is the best foundation routine for oily skin, but by far this is the best that I have found to work for me. And anything that keeps me shine free for over, you know, 10 hours is a blessing. And I really hope that it can help somebody else out there with oily skin. And if it does, please let me know because I would... I would love to know that I'm not the only one that this has seriously like saved my life. So for Christmas, Eric bought me this new lens. As you guys can notice, my background's a little bit more, you know, uh, blurred out and stuff. And I really do love it. And I'm excited. But if I'm like out of focus, it's kind of harder to work with this one. But I really wanted to use it. And he told me I can have it early. So yeah, I will get everything, you know, down to a T here pretty quick, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, and then for the past like two, three weeks, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading videos like I normally would. Um, Eric had like foot surgery done and stuff, so we've kind of been dealing with that. So I didn't want to, you know, take too much time doing this when I should be doing something else kind of thing. So I kind of said, okay. You know, until he gets a little bit better, I'm going to kind of focus on doing what I need to do. But now that he's better, I'm back here again. So I'm excited. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I do, my little tips and tricks. So if you want to see what I did, just keep watching. Okay, so the very first thing I've been using is my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. That has seriously just been amazing. It hasn't broken me out. And it really leaves my skin nice and... um kind of dewy but it's just more like a a radiant kind of primer so it looks like my skin's dewy but it's not and I should probably clip my bangs back so they don't get everywhere then taking my hourglass immaculate foundation I'm gonna take about two pumps and I'm going to be using my beauty blender for this. I know you can use a brush and I have used a brush before, but I still think I use the same amount. So to me, it's not that big of a difference, but I feel like this gives you a better um, flawless finish anyway. So I'm just going to use this. So I'm just going to dab this all over my face. And I know this foundation has like um, kind of like a kaolin clay in it, so I think that helps absorb the oils as well. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I blend it out really good. I mean, it kind of turns into like this powder um, once you blend it out, so you don't need to worry about it like streaking or anything especially when you use the beauty blender you, you're not going to have that problem and it really covers up my pores so nice so um and i have a, an issue with like larger pores and this this is just awesome for that And then whatever I have left on the back of my hand, I'm just going to use to blend out my neck. So for concealer, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And there goes my cat. I'm going to put that under my eye. Or eyes, I should say. It's too early for this. Okay, just like that. Now taking my Urban Decay Chill, I'm just going to spray my face two, three times to kind of, I don't want to like wet my foundation again, but kind of make it dewy so when I put my powder on, it kind of sticks to it. Okay, so once you let it dry, um, I'm going to take my 
Bare Minerals Concealer in Well Rested. And I'm going to use this for my under eye. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush for this. I'm just going to pat that underneath my eyes. So taking my Hello Flawless powder and my Sigma F30, I'm going to use this to set my foundation and you seriously barely need any. So I really like that. And I just have to set my foundation. I can't go without setting it. I mean, honestly, you don't have to if you're um, a person that does not like to use a setting powder, but I have to. So that's just me. Make sure you get it down your neck. Okay, just like that. I mean, barely anything. And using my Hoola bronzer, I'm gonna take my MAC 129 and just bronze my face, my cheekbones, my temples. Down the center of my nose, my chin and my jawline. For blush, I'm going to be using Max Peachy Keen and my F40. And apply this. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to set my face again with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil using their Flawless Face Brush. And I really think this has a lot to do with controlling my oil. And I do this every single time anyways. I always have for years and years. And I also love it because it really blends out your blush, your bronzer, and everything so you don't have like any harsh lines. What I do when I'm done with everything, I take my Urban Decay Chill Spray one more time and spritz it all over. So what the Urban Decay Chill does, I think it like locks in that moisture and your body doesn't have to produce oil to make, you know, like your powder and your foundation like melt into your skin. So I think this kind of helps along the way. And then for my lips really quick, I'm just going to use my Revlon Color Burst, Lacquer Balm, and Demore. Okay, I'm mean, just keeping it simple today. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really do hope that this will help somebody else out there that has really oily skin like I do. And if it does work for you, please let me know. And please thumbs up this video if you found it helpful. And thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you soon.